Okay, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have David Vandegrift on the line, and he's co-founder and CTO over at Four Degrees, and he's also the author of the book, The Future of Business, An Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. Uh, David, welcome to the show. Thank you, Adam. So I'm excited to get more into your book. I mean, hot topic, artificial intelligence, how it relates to business. Um, but before we do that, let's get a little bit further into your background. So how did you get started in your career and in business? Yeah, for sure. It's been pretty circuitous, so tried a little bit of everything. Back in college, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do. My main plan was actually to go get my PhD and become a researcher. And I kind of ended up stumbling into the professional world through consulting. Uh, so really through a set of chances, I ended up at a consulting firm called McKinsey & Company, where I spent the first three years of my professional career. Uh, learned a whole lot there, uh, really got challenged and shown a whole world of new opportunities, but found that it really wasn't my passion. It's not what I was trying to get up in the morning and go do. And so after a few years, I left and jumped into the tech world. So I founded my first startup, which was a company called MVP Innovation down in Atlanta. Um, ultimately unsuccessful, but learned a lot. And most importantly, it did get me into the tech industry, which is where I've stayed uh, since then. So after that, I decided I was going to go back to professional services. I went into the venture capital industry and sit on the other side of the entrepreneur or VC table uh, and joined a firm called Pritzker Group Venture Capital here in Chicago. There I learned just an unbelievable amount about the technology industry and all of the changes that are happening to our world. Ended up specializing in investing in emerging technologies. So things like artificial intelligence or virtual reality or the Internet of Things. Um, and really, that's where I found my passion, kind of fell headfirst into the fascinating technologies that are reshaping essentially everything that we do. Uh, spent a couple of years there at Pritzker Group here in Chicago and then left to found my second company, which is where I am now. So started up Four Degrees with my co-founder of Lorde about two and a half years ago now. Man, I love that story. And uh, what I like about it is that you've had, you know, multiple multiple angles that you've attached the problem of how you provide value to people. And I, that's what I also see in the book that you created. Um, I want let's let's change it up a bit. I do want to get into the book, um, the future of business. So first, what was the inspiration for this? Yeah, absolutely. So it came out of that journey, which is I had always been pretty technical. I was the CTO back at my first startups, but. I think similar to a lot of people coming into 2014, 2015, I had heard of artificial intelligence, but really didn't have a great concept of what that meant outside of movies like Terminator or iRobot. Um, and I found myself in the VCC now evaluating companies that were trying to sell myself and their customers in the world on the promise of this new technology. And so what I had to do from the beginning is figure out what they were talking about. Uh, and so I dove in, I um, immersed myself in all of the literature, all of the media that I could find on the topic to learn as much as I could. And what I found as I did that is that there were two primary sources of information around that time frame, so about five years ago. One was the academic literature. So you could actually go find these research papers on the topics of artificial intelligence, machine learning, or deep learning. And they were really, really good, but they were also just incredibly dense and thick, and you needed very deep contextual knowledge to understand what was happening in these papers. Mm. On the flip side of things was, um, I guess, what I call the futurists, so people like Ray Kurzweil, who were writing about the promise of artificial intelligence in the long term, I think kind of 2050 and beyond. But they really weren't looking today at what was happening that was going to then shape that future. And so I felt as I went through this research phase that there was really just not a good set of materials for somebody like me who was immersing themselves in the technology so that they could then apply it in their real world business today. And so as I was learning, I essentially started jotting down notes and laying out a structure and trying to put all of my thoughts together. And that ultimately ended up becoming the book that it is today, The Future of Business. What can the readers that pick up this book uh, expect to get out of it? Yeah, a few different things. Um, so first of all, an introduction to what AI even is. Like I said, that's kind of where I had to start my journey. 
And so I start with the definition of AI, which unsurprisingly, there is no agreed upon definition. So I talk about how different people approach that question and how you should think about it as a business practitioner. I then talk a bit about the history because I think that informs both the definition as well as kind of where the field's headed, to, headed towards from today. Uh, after that, I start structuring the field. So um, people have heard of things like autonomous vehicles or robotics or deep learning or computer vision, but there's not really a good framework for how all of those things fit together today. And so that's exactly what I do with kind of the first half of the book. After that, I transition to making everything a little bit more practical. So talking about where AI is reshaping the world today, where it's going to do so in the next five to 10 years, and then a far looking, uh, far reaching look at what's going to happen to our society as these technologies become more and more ingrained into everything that we're doing. So it's meant to be an introduction to the field, a guide to how it should be shaping what you're doing in the business world today, and then a little bit of thoughtfulness about where that's going to take us in the future. Can you give us uh, just one example from the book of um, one of the places you think we'll be in the future with AI? Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the absolutely fascinating things happening right now uh, that's going to become more and more prevalent in the next few years is um, the so-called deep fakes, which is essentially the use of deep learning models like generative adversarial networks or variational autoencoders to create realistic seeming rich media. And what I mean by that is essentially creating fake videos or fake audio or fake pictures that to the untrained eye or to a casual observer look real. And we're already starting to see some of these in a couple of different places. In particular, I think with the presidential election coming up later this year, there's a lot of concern that there are going to be essentially a fake uh, attack videos based on um, various political candidates putting them in situations that they wouldn't otherwise be. Uh, in fact, just this past week, Facebook announced a couple of new policies around just this topic because they're so concerned about it. This is the kind of thing that um, I think we've always historically in society been able to trust our eyes and our ears, right? So if you see video of something, unless there's a multi-million dollar budget behind creating that fake video, you can more or less trust that it's real. And I think we're moving into a future in which, which that's no longer the case. And now we have to start thinking about where did this video come from? Who's vouching for it? And why can we trust this? Wow, and, and something else that's just so interesting to me about that, I love that you bring that up and that it's in your book, um, that is that as the, as the cost for these technologies go down, right now you're saying multi-million, right? But in the future, that's not going to be the case in terms of budget, like everything else, right? Over time, it's going to get cheaper, it's going to get cheaper, the technology, and, um, and, you'll, and to where the, at some point it'll be um, pretty commonplace to be able to augment reality for, for anyone. Um, and so you look at that and how soon that takes to happen happen, um, I don't know, obviously, but um, you look at that and then our concept, when you say the trained eye, I'm like, I can't tell the difference. My eye's not that trained. I've seen some things that were fake that I didn't, I had to do a double take, a triple take, like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. is that real? Is that not? And maybe I still don't know, to be honest. Um, and I don't have the time to sit there and care about it enough, but it still caught my perception. It was still in front of my eyes and it's still imprinted on my mind. Um, <laughs> Um, no, I love that, Dave. That's a great example. Um, so, so that being said, um, if somebody's listening to this right now and they're interested and they want to learn more about your book or about Four Degrees, um, what's the best way for them to reach out? Yeah, so I'd encourage them to go check out the book. Uh, you can find it on Amazon. The title is The Future of Business, An Introduction to Artificial Intelligence. Uh, I've also got an online presence, so you can check out my blog, davidvandegrift.com, where I'm on Medium, uh, and also on Twitter, uh, so you can just search for me, David Vandegrift, so a whole bunch of different ways to find me. Oh, that's awesome. Well, hey, David, um, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and all the great work that you're doing over at Four Degrees. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you got a lot of value out of this. Um, if you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store, uh, share this with your friends, your family, your coworkers. I mean, it does mean a lot to me. Um, and, David, thanks again for coming on the show.